Wonderful. So uh, we will be um, in silent practice together for about 25 minutes. So I invite you to find a posture that feels comfortable um, and yet alert. You know, you, know I, you might like to lie down or stand or walk, or if you're seated, think nice long spine. Just invite us to have a nice deep breath in together, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Letting your awareness arise into your body. It feels good to soften your gaze or close your eyes. Let's just bring our attention into our bodies and see if we can just relax into our posture. Breathing in again through the nose and out through the mouth. Tonight we'll have a mostly silent practice period, but at the end of our period, I'm going to offer a metta practice. So for those that you know are excited to hear that, that's great. And if you choose not to, you may let my voice kind of go to the background. You could mute me. That'll be probably the last eight minutes of our practice tonight. So let's take one last deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. I invite you to find an anchor for your attention. A great place to start might be anchoring in the breath.
Taking a moment to notice if your attention has wandered. Just invite it back to your anchor of the breath, or other single point of attention, no judgment, no worry, just an invitation to bring your concentration and focus back.
Just taking a moment to notice where your attention is. We invite you into a practice of loving kindness. This metta practice is a beautiful way in the Dharma to invite in some prayers for ourselves and for others that really center us in our grounding practice of compassion and kindness. So I'm going to ask you to begin by pulling your attention to your mind's eye. Let's see if you can bring an image of yourself. You might think of yourself laughing. You might consider a time that you were feeling pretty joyous. You can bring that to your energy and your attention. We'll offer some phrases out loud that you can repeat to yourself silently. We really will center on bringing our compassion and loving kindness towards ourselves. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, feel free to think of sending these wishes to somebody that you love instead. So with our self and our mind's eye, just repeat to yourself silently as I say aloud, may we feel joy and ease. May I feel safe, healthy, and protected. May I feel strong. May I be free. Just let the sensation of loving kindness resonate through our bodies and realize reflecting it to ourselves is a gift. Next, I invite you to bring the image and attention of somebody that is a dear one. You may consider them a benefactor who is exclusively invested in your well being, who's poured into you as a beloved one, treasured one. You can pull their face to your mind or put an image of them, how they walk, what they sound like. But when you have an image of them in your mind's eye, just smile a little bit internally towards them and we'll offer the same phrases. May they feel joy and ease. May they feel safe, may they feel healthy and protected from both inner and outer harm. May they feel strong in their spirit and their body. And may they be free. We'll start this process again and I invite you to bring to your mind's eye and attention somebody who you don't know that well. It might be the person you passed on the street, maybe the person that maybe delivered your mail or even a toll booth operator, someone that you don't know well. You don't need to know their name, but we're gonna send them the same loving kindness and attention. So I'll give you a minute to just think of somebody who's not that known to you that you can offer the same phrases to. And holding them in our mind's eye and our attention, we repeat the phrases, may this person feel joy and ease. May this unknown person feel safe, may they feel healthy, may they be protected. And 
May this person feel strong in their spirit and their body. And may this person be free. Wonderful, just two more times. I'm gonna ask you to bring to mind what's referred to as a difficult person. You don't wanna stretch for somebody that's done us a lot of harm. You wanna just find a person that maybe you fell out of favor with. This could be a friend that you are experiencing some dis disagreement with or someone maybe who is absent more recently. If you'll just pull an image of that person to your mind if it feels comfortable, and we'll offer them these same phrases. May this person feel joy and ease. May this person feel safe. May they be healthy and protected from inner and outer harm. May this person feel strong in their body and in their spirit. May this person be free. Wonderful. In this last round, I invite us to really radiate this meta practice. It's just acknowledging that our energy transfers far and wide. <laughs> I invite you to think of yourself as a, a beacon. And the method you may generate when we send these prayers to all beings in every direction, the winged ones, the slithery ones, the swimming ones. You think of yourself as kind of the epicenter and then radiating outward towards every beings in every direction. We offer these prayers. So just take a minute to try and wrap your head around how you can transmit and offer these prayers to all beings in all directions. And from this place we offer, may all beings feel joy. May all beings experience ease in the succession of suffering. May all beings experience safety. May all beings feel healthy. And may all beings be protected from inner and outer harm. May all beings be strong. And may all beings be free. so much for your practice. <clears throat> Just one quick note. There's so many ways to practice metta. I, I offer this with the intention of just creating some well-being and loving kindness. Um, but what's really helpful is if you develop a practice choosing your own words, right? The words I offered may resonate with you, or you might find some that resonate even more. So if you're in your metta practice, you choose words that really 
like you feel them, they, they resonate from your spirit, use those words. And I once had instruction from a teacher that said, you know, set your metta to a musical melody to make it easier and pleasant to share. So I'll just share mine quickly and then we'll move into our break. Um, or I'll turn it over to Crystal. Um, mine goes, may you feel joy and ease. May you be safe. May you feel healthy and strong. And may we all be freed. Yeah, thank you so much for your practice. <laughs> 